What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmire's World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the top run play in Madden 18. Now, regardless if you see people running out of tight slots and they're running the pitch and they're doing all kinds of stuff like that, running the pitch, it's a very, very brainless method um, that you don't really require. You have to have a little bit of stick, but for the most part, you're going to still get maximum yards. But the issue with the, uh, the pitch, though, is when you run into somebody that can lock it up, they don't usually have the other run plays in the same playbook that you could go to, all right? So sometimes, like earlier in the year, I gave you guys a, a, a tutorial on how to run the pitch, okay? I, I showed you guys how to do it. It's just now it's more broken than it was earlier in the year because what happens over the last three years is EA starts to patch the game, and then they make the game progressively worse to the point where you just don't want to play it anymore. And that's where we are right now. It's like real, it's just so many different things going on, and I don't think that there's a fix in and like in the near future that's going to really you know help us to get over what's going on with ea sports so um realistically speaking right now you guys are going to have to figure out a way to just be able to deal with the stuff that's going on it's it's really really bad and um it just doesn't make a lot of sense but ultimately you see what this guy's doing right there that's a stretch play all right now the stretch play depending on how you run it it this is a play that even if they run commit you can still get a lot of yards, possibly a touchdown. Um, if they play regular basic coverage, if you follow your blockers and do what you could do. And keep in mind, that was a key word I just said, follow your blockers. Because in Madden 18, it's been going on for like the last two, three years. The blockers just run away from the guy that they're supposed to be blocking. Go ahead and like the video if that happens often. You're trying to figure out why it happens. The reasoning behind why it happens is because EA has no idea what's going on. They don't realize that the person that's in front of the guy is supposed to block that guy. So the person runs nowhere near the guy that's right in front of him, and he ends up in the stands or he's trying to block somebody on the other side of the field. It's, a, it's something that's been going on for a lot of years now, and I don't think that they're going to fix it anytime soon because I personally think that the cast of Boss Baby makes Madden 18. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know if you guys have seen that. You know, um, wh wh which Baldwin is in there? Wh I forgot. What, what is it? What, what Baldwin is that? It's, it's, it's the... Um, what, what, it's the most famous Baldwin. Which, Alec, bro, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, okay. I, I, I know the South Park made a movie uh, making fun of him and stuff like that. But yeah, Alec Baldwin. He's the star. He's the like the head baby. That Somebody there is doing that. Um, Because I, I, it doesn't make any more... You know like how when you think about things and you're trying to figure out like, yo, that can't be, bro. That's what happens when you play Madden. Because if you haven't run into somebody that's running like the Hail Mary glitch or something like that, you you probably haven't really experienced the full onslaught of what EA Sports is trying to create in the industry. Because, oh, like I said, over the last three years, and I know, listen, next gen, for the, it, another thing that I think about it, next gen has been very, very difficult for these developers. Because everybody except for like, um, you know, Rockstar, well, I can't say, no, nah, I guess there's no excuse. I was going to say maybe it's harder for them to create, but no, nah, it's no excuse. Because Grand Theft Auto V, is still selling at rate at wild rates and it's been out forever. They had it on both consoles, three and uh, PlayStation three and four, both Xboxes, everything like that, and it's still doing very very well. So I don't really understand what's going on with EA Sports and Two K and why their games are starting to become wild. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when you start thinking about the sports gaming, um, we're gonna have because a lot of us want to play games that we just feel more comfortable playing. We deal with it, okay? So Again, the whole the reason that I say that is to explain to you that a lot of the plays that you run, even if they're stopped on a consecutive basis, you're going to break a run eventually, okay? So when I tell you that the stretch play is the best run play, that's a play that if you run it the entire game, I don't care what defense they're playing, you're going to break one. Yo, shout out to Swifty, bro. I appreciate that. Much love for the donation. I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Once you guys start to figure out exactly what's happening within the game of Madden, right? You're going to notice that for you to be a really good player, you have to do things that usually don't make sense. All right? And a lot of you guys probably like saying like, yo, what are you talking about? What do you mean not me? Bro, listen, just, just hear me out. When you run a toss play and you have everybody on the side that they're running the toss to and all of them run away from the toss, that's something that your brain probably won't be able to comprehend. And again... I already made a tutorial for you on how to run the toss. The reason that, I, again, I'm telling you that the stretch is the best play is because you can do more out of the stretch formation. You see, once people, when people think they have the stretch locked up, 
that's when they're going to get burnt for six. With the toss, if somebody, say, say for instance, right, you're running the toss play, right, and the dude has the D for it, and regardless of how you're running it, you know, the, dude, you know, the dudes are coming straight down, that defense usually locks up every pass you're going to run because you're going to probably run, a, a, you know, something quick up the seam. You're going to run an out route. Maybe you're going to run bench. The defense and the way that it's set up usually locks up the pass in my experiences, which is why most people that run that whole toss play situation, they really don't have, they don't have a good idea on how to pass the ball. You see what I'm saying? But with the stretch play, there's so many different things. There's so many different ways to run it. Like right now, I'm setting it up. You want to make sure that you have a key blocking fullback. All right? that That's the huge thing. And most of the fullbacks don't block in the game, but that, that doesn't really matter. This formation is very, very difficult to really to re to maintain simply because, you see, EA has made it easy for us. They let us know. They put a green thing on the side for when it's like, yeah, you should run it this way because it's green. So you'll notice by the way that I just ran and the way the blocking was, that's the key. You want to look for it because I don't know why they would let people know. Well, you know, look, this side, it's green. You know what I'm saying? And then this side is red. And then you see how he's running cover for a drop show too? Stretch has always been able to deal with that defense. It's just able to deal with it a little bit better now because of the most recent patches. It actually made it a lot weaker against the stretch run, which is why I'm suggesting that you guys try to like, you know, implement a little bit of stretch in your game plan to see how it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, and you want to run um, the toss, I have a video right here on YouTube showing you how, you know, it's a money play. I show you how to run the toss, and that video's been out since, like, September. So whichever way you want to run it, uh, your offense, you're going to want to have a decent ground game because the run game is so, so OP in Madden 18. Passing the ball, depending on the defense and what EA is doing in the office, if they flip the switch, when you're, when you're passing the ball, you might play an opponent, that your your receivers, everyone, will drop the ball the entire game. You guys probably want to like the video like four times after I just said that. No matter who your receiver is, bro, he could have Jesus on the back of his jersey. Doesn't matter. He's going to drop the ball in Madden 18. It's very stupid, right? So when those things are happening, you have to have another way to get out of it. You can't just be running around like, yeah, I'm going to keep passing the ball. This Madden is unlike any other Madden ever before. Because remember, in 16, they never dropped the ball. 17, there were drops, but it wasn't as bad. This game is just outright garbage, okay, when it comes to that situation. And remember, a lot of the things that they're doing is happening after the fact because at launch, this game wasn't that bad. But again, for the last three years, they haven't seemed to realize that they should just leave the game the way that it is. If you want to do like an update to like add stuff into Mutt or something like that, that's fine. But realistically them adjusting the gameplay is like the worst thing that they can do. And from what I'm hearing, I haven't I haven't touched um, NBA 2K18, but from what I'm hearing, when they patch things uh, according to their gameplay as well, it breaks other things also. So I don't know exactly what's happening because usually when you patch something, it's supposed to be better, but it hasn't been happening as far as sports games go. You know, like they patch Fortnite, Fortnite got better. You know what I'm saying? This what is this guy doing? What, what's going on with this guy? What, what see this guy right here? And, and and again, when you see that your opponent wants to run plays like this, like you know, PA shot wheel, all kinds of wild things, you have to understand that the game can go either way. Because one way or another, depending on how good your defense, you know, wants to play that game, he's gonna score for one of these shot plays. Because he's gonna get the proper blocking and the play is gonna develop. And the dude's going to be wide open on the post route, even though you got somebody playing the post. It's just the way that Madden is. It's not anything that you guys are individually doing wrong. The game is designed for that to happen. You see, the, did you just see what my guys did? My guys ran around in a circle below him instead of attacking the quarterback in the middle. You see what I'm saying? But just based on what he's doing, these type of opponents, you're going to want to slow the game down. And the reason that I'm giving you these kind of tips and tricks right now is because weekend league is going to be that much more difficult with the whole situation with the Hail Mary glitch and these guys coming out and just running it and just trying to get wins. You're going to have to be ready for this. So having a great run play is going to be key. Running the ball efficiently is going to frustrate your opponent. Now look, now look, this is a perfect example. You see like how it's all red, right? Just notice what's going on. It's all red. EA is telling me it's all red. All right, I'm going to still run the ball. I'm going to get the first down, right? Even though I, I'm still in the twelve. I got the first down. The reason that I still ran the ball that way is because you still have to use your eyes and see that even when it's red, is it worth it? Okay? 
If it's not worth it to run it, then you go to like, you know, you go to slants, you have the Texas play, you have different plays out of iPro that you could kind of, you know, manipulate the defense. But then you could also ID the mic. Make sure you see that, you know, the guy, you know, that they want to block. Now, this guy just has no stick. He just has no stick. So he completely ran away from everything I was doing. But you're going to have to be able to avoid some of those hits when you see that it's red because he's coming out on a cover three and his guys are spread. You're going to have to make those plays, especially in the red zone where it's very, very difficult to pass. And that's why this is so important. Now, you probably would like to run Wham. Wham is also something that's efficient, but it's still not the number one. Like, you're not, most people, right, when you run Wham, and there's a, there, there's a, you're playing someone that definitely knows how to stop it, you are, listen, your whole game plan is ruined, okay? But if you can run Wham, this guy's just spinning around. I don't know how they do that. Why would EA make that a pop? Bro, I've never seen a human being do that, like spin and then spin back like that and just keep running. Like, this game is just really ridiculous, but it's just so many more options you can do. And usually, if you have a playbook, right? Like, for instance, in this video right now, I'm using the, um, yo, shout out to Cults for that chair. I'm using the, um, the Ravens offensive playbook, right? So you got strong and you got, um, you got the I pro. So you got all these different run formations with stretch. So I don't care how you run stretch. Stretch is the number one running play in the game. If you're running it out of wide trips, whatever you're doing, if you have a stretch play, you're going to get a lot more out of the stretch play formations than you will with the tight ones, okay, as far as run goes. And, and again, it's all because depend, depending on the person that you're playing, when they lock up the, the tight formations, they usually have the defense behind it as well because it's like automatic. It goes together, especially if you're playing the guy that runs stock coverage and you're like, yo, how is this guy stopping this? It's designed that way. So don't question what EA has brought for us, bro. EA is not going to stop. We have to just get better at what we're doing and figure out ways to kind of counteract what they're doing, okay? So just make sure you understand whatever playbook has the most stretch, that's probably where you want to be. Again, if you want to run um, Wham and you want to run other things like that, you want to run, uh, you know, the toss play out of tight slots, whatever, that's another option. But I'm letting you understand that once you lock that up, right, and you run into a guy that runs stretch, this game, a guy that runs stretch every play is going to make you just thought, yo, I'm, I don't want to say, you're going to be on a first class flight to Antarctica, to line up baby seals. And you know what you're going to do to them, bro. But you don't want to do it to them because they're so beautiful and loving. But that's what Madden's going to make you do. and But that's what I want you guys to do to the opponent. You see what I'm saying? I want you guys to do that to them. Now, are there playbooks with the stretch and, you know, the toss and stuff like that? Absolutely. But you don't get the same balance because EA doesn't give you a playbook that gives you a, a decent variety of everything the way that I'm trying to suggest it. So the reason that, that, that in this video I'm using the Ravens playbook is because I wanted to just come out and run this guy's eyeballs out of his socket. But in another video, I might run a completely entire offense because I, I don't really care anymore about this game. I just do it for you guys, have some entertainment, have some fun, and I love playing football. You know what I'm saying? I love playing football games, stuff like that, because it is what it is. So keep in mind, again, run some more stretch, all right? When the stretch doesn't work, I want you guys to go ahead and try to toss out. See how that works out for you, all right? Uh, this guy knew he was going to get the L in this file. He went crazy. It is what it is. We're going to do a video view goal of about 40K for this one. Like and share. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time, man. G Myers World. One love.